Good morning slash evening. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Scorch and Fishing. Um, I am making a YouTube series where I'm going to be playing a game called Fishing Planet. Uh, this is my first time making a video, so hopefully this is going to come through pretty well for the first time. I have had the experience of playing this game back when I was just browsing um, games to play when I was on my PlayStation 4. I came across this free game that came up uh, back then, I don't know, maybe four or five years ago. It was definitely appearing to be something I liked. I basically found it and I opened it up, started playing it, went through the tutorial, and I came to realize that this is pretty much like what I was looking for. It was like the best simulation game. It had good graphics, although it didn't have probably what you've seen on a lot of other people's channels where it had the original um, toolbar for like reeling and things like that. But I found this game back then, played it for a little bit on my PlayStation 4, figured out how to get it on my desktop because then I transitioned into desktop PC gaming since I work with computers a lot figured it would, I'd give it a try seemed to like it there too and then I stopped playing it obviously life goes things come up I guess maybe more years later I, I found out that this game came out on mobile app and it was just recently like I would say beginning of March because that's when this recording is taking place of uh, 2023 I saw it and I was like hmm this seems very intriguing. Let's try it out. So I began playing that, went through the tutorial again, made the character, same thing. Uh, I advanced a little further and I was like, all right, now this is like a calling. I'm going to do this and I'm going to actually share with people my experiences on playing it and maybe you have takes on things I might be doing wrong, things I might be doing right. Maybe you like just the relaxing, calming, sounds that play because it sounds realistic to you when you're out there fishing in the real world that's what drives me to do this game i don't like a lot of graphics things i like a little smooth relaxing pace the flow of music that they have in here is also great but yeah so i did make a fresh account because i wanted to actually start the whole game again granted i've never actually played this game and gone past a certain area which i'll share once i start it but yeah without further ado let's get into playing this game hopefully you stick around to the end this is kind of a long intro to my first video but yeah let's get it started uh let's see i don't know why the music is not playing it was playing earlier oh there we go and like I said, this is my first one. Uh, this isn't my first time coming back, so I already made the character. So it's not that first introduction thing, but if you're into uh, the, the first how to play game part of it and the realistic experience of how first time gamers feel, you will launch the game basically. Uh, it will give you a character screen where you can create your character. Um, there's not much graphic detail to it. Uh, they didn't. They don't get into in depth in you on creating your character like you play. If you played Skyrim, that's one of my games I like to play uh, back in the day. Really big game I like to play. Um, or anything MMO RPG. Not too heavy on the all these game genres. I know racing's one of them, but they don't do that in there. But yeah, you get to create your character, and there's just a generic face, a generic hair, uh, color of your hair, and I think you get to choose your pants and shirt. Um, you don't really get to design your body. So yeah, that's just basic. But I figured I'd skip that part because, um, number one, I accidentally clicked the game, and number two, uh, it's not really that interesting. Unless you're like looking at everyone and being like, oh, well, they look good. Uh, as I come to find out, apparently you get things uh, in the game where 
you can actually customize your character in a feel and they don't really uh, give you a 3D perspective, at least that I'm aware of. Uh, this is like still kind of new with all the updates and I don't even know what season they're on and things like that. But I do know how most of the gameplay goes. So yeah, without further ado, let's get started and actually do the tutorial fully and immerse into the experience of the fishing planet. Alright, make your first cast. Aim at the ring, okay. I guess I'm already aiming. Okay. And there we go, our first fish is a bluegill, coming in at almost half a pound, actually a little bit more than half a pound. Um, normal, and we make 17 bucks. So basically, when you catch a fish, you get like the uh, stats of it, you can, uh, it's like 0.5 pounds, or you know, it can go up. It's like, it's like normal fishing if you're an average fisherman. Um, and it gives you the name of the fish, it gives you how length, um, wow, lengthy. It gives you the size and length of it. Um, you get like these coin, I think coin bucks, bait bucks. I, I don't know. Um, I never really like in in depth got into detail about everything, but you get like money for it pretty much. So each fish you catch in here is pretty much giving you money. And it looks like we got 17 bucks. And then you get this experience bar down here. So it looks like I got five experience points. And then you get the opportunity to release your fish or you get the opportunity to keep your fish. And obviously if you release it, you don't get the money. Uh, you do get the experience. Um, and then if you keep it, you get the uh, money and you obviously get to keep the experience. So let's keep it. Just the real drag to division or to three divisions to optimize the load of the tackle uh, and obviously on screen it gives you a plus and minus so I'm curious so actually it looks like it saved my settings from the other uh, original account that I had on the game um, like I said I had it going before and I didn't realize that majority of the stuff would copy over so it looks like the settings copied over I'll explain more about that uh, as we progress but uh, for right now let's just uh, do what it says so adjust it to 3 wait are we at 3? we're at 2 now we're at 3 try to catch another fish so I don't know if you can see the cursor oh there we go Well, I figured out how to do it so if you do the cursor, which obviously there's a trick to it, if you gotta look, you gotta look at your settings, and you get like a whole F1 to help. You can see all of your keys here. Let's, we got a bite. All right, caught a golden shiner, coming in at just shy of half, of half a pound, uh, seven and. Crap, my, met, my fractions are off. Uh, we're going to say close to 8 inches. Uh, $22 uh, or bait coins or whatever it's called. Um, and for XP. Uh, keep, it looks like. Now let's catch a bigger fish. Press escape to go to local map and change the fishing spot. Uh, okay. Select the pin location. Press go fishing to go to the location. Pretty good walkthrough. I don't recall ever doing this. Turn around and find a compost bin. Go closer to the compost pile. E to interact. 
Oh wow. They get worms. I must be mind blown because I don't remember doing this. <laughs> okay. So we get worms. Uh, Z to move. Wait, to hold Z and move. I'm guessing that's going to be my scroll button to select red worms. It's already. Oh. Oh. Okay. Um, w is shift to get yellow point to get to the yellow pointer in the middle of the bridge. I tend to read faster than I speak, so bear with me on that. Turn left and cast your tackle near the water release. I love how this is considered a cast. The float is on the left side because the bait hit the bottom. Reel the bait in. So what it's saying is, I'll use my cursor, this right here is going to be your indication of a bobber. There's also apparently one with a uh, lore, so you'll see the difference uh, when we get to lore casting. But for right now, this is what it's telling me to do. It wants me to flip this uh, so it's up and down vertical. Right? Vertical. Or, well, it's saying it's not, the bobber's floated weird. So it's basically the depth of the water is low and shallow. So we're going to reel it a little bit so that way it can become loose out of that shallow area. There we go. Wait, what? Decrease the line leader to 19. And hit an O on the keyboard. Oh my gosh, no wonder. That is so high. And basically what this does is it moves the bobber and obviously decreases the leader or moves the leader. Um, but yeah, uh, to make a cast to the marked spot. zoom in on the float oh okay well I mean I guess you could do that option too but like if you look on the right you can see the bobber is bouncing up and down underneath my worms and then it shows you what a strike looks like so you just lift are you serious we got a trophy well then okay wasn't expecting my tutorial to have a trophy. They really wanted that. It'd be a big catch. Uh, trophy white crappy. So we got a trophy white crappy. Uh, just, I want to say, close to a pound. Nice. Uh, 12 inches. 12 and a half. I'm going to round that. I don't know why they really go into the, the nearest uh, hundredth. Wait, tenth? Thousandth of an inch um 60 bucks 28 xp so trophies are pretty more pretty much more than in your normal catch i like that uh so we're gonna keep it and we just got 60 more bucks and now we level two okay uh we get 1500 bucks i'm gonna call them bucks now uh, and, okay, so this is it. So this is called a bait coin. Um, I don't know if they're going to give you a tutorial on this. And I'm already noticing that they missed a tutorial so far on how to um, catch it, catch a fish. But I don't, I didn't see it say if you're, uh, when you get a strike to pull it back with the right trigger. I'll have to double check it when I review the video, but uh, maybe I'm wrong, maybe I'm right. Um, but this is a bait coin, so you get one. Uh, and I'm hearing that you're supposed to be saving these, but I've never even used them. I just used this, so I haven't even gotten that far to where I actually needed to use these. That's the good thing about it. So that's why I'm doing this now because I haven't progressed to a certain point. Um, I just thought it was fun and I just wanted to finish 
what I wanted to do. Uh, so we get new new items. We get a Callisto XSR 1000. That's a new reel. Crimson gold, cold water golden. I don't know what that is. A fish hut. Uh, yeah, so a fish hut is your. I'm assuming it's just a fish keeper. NSA. I don't know why it doesn't just say fish keeper. Uh, and then it's size small, so I don't know this exact size, so we'll have to find out. Uh, we can now use mono leader. Uh, I think it's mono leader. Mono line, I should say. Um, and it kind of looks like an actual line that you would get in a store. Like if you go to Walmart, I'm going to use Walmart for example, because that's where I used to go for a lot of my stuff. Um, Walmart, uh, has this probably fast pro shops, any fishing store really. Um, and it looks very nostalgic. Like that's the line you would always get when you went to, when you went to the, uh, store to get line for your fishing pole or you needed to redo your line. Uh, so mono point five, point zero zero five. Yeah. Point zero zero five. So 5,000, um, yeah, I'm guessing that's a diameter. Uh, oh wait, no, that's a diameter. Oh uh, well, I'll learn it more as I go. I I just didn't. I just ignored it back when I was playing this. So we're gonna have to figure these out correctly. Oh. <laughs> okay. So I'm guessing king size and XXL size. So we got a double XL. So I'm gonna assuming. Wait, why does that one look bigger? What? Okay. So we got a spool of double XL and we got a spool of king. So king is apparently bigger than double XL. Interesting. Uh, hook number six. Um, basically, the hooks are your hook sizes. So obviously, if you go up the ladder, so basically, starting from one is going to be your highest, and then lowest will be uh, so far number six. So. One is your biggest hook, six is your lowest hook. At this point, what we have unlocked. Uh, and we got an oval bobber. Okay, cool. Get profit for fish from your, your keep net. Okay, so keep net, there's the word I was looking for. Instead of it saying fish keep or whatever it was. Open the local map. Don't waste your time. Leave to take. Leave the lake to claim your reward. All right. Let's leave the lake. So yeah, I'll explain more about it as we go. But for right now, that's going to be. Uh, how it, how your experience is gonna be when you're fishing, pretty much. Um, obviously, now we're into like the area where you get to look at the whole screen. Uh, the screen we were just on was your map. Uh, you get to choose your side of the lake, which you saw, which you saw me do in the beginning, uh, where it told me to move from a location to go to another one to catch a bigger fish. Um, it will tell me more about the other stuff that you can't see over here, uh, hopefully. So let's continue doing it. Uh, we got today's results. Your account is, obviously, you can pay for the premium. I really don't see a purpose in paying for the premium. Um, at least from how I've gone when playing this game when I first started and then moving it over to the PC. Um, so you definitely don't need premium. Uh, you get just as much with the stuff that you need. And I'll, as we go, I'll get in detail what I've learned from playing it um, as we go. Uh, so 37 XP and 99 bucks. And obviously the premium would be higher if you paid for the premium. So close. I'm also gonna have to figure out this volume because it's, I feel like it's too loud. Uh, okay.
Okay. Oh, we completed a challenge. Nice. Tight lines. Complete the tutorial. And we got one big coin. That's a cool little icon. Ooh, we got a reward. I didn't know we would get a reward. So we got floral line. Uh, I'm assuming point eight is the... Oh, wait, no. Point... Oh. I didn't see... It. I couldn't see that on certain ones. Uh, so it's point eight of a thousand... Eight thousandth of a two millimeter line. I'm assuming that's what it means. Uh, your backpack is full. The item placed to your home storage. All right, and it still looks like it's uh, what is that? GS is that? I don't even know what GS is. Strike King? No. Global? I don't know. <laughs> Hopefully, it tells me. All right, mission accomplished, first steps, awesome. Now you know the basics of float fishing. Oh, float fishing. Okay. You will definitely need these skills throughout the rest of the game. Eh, yes and no, that I'm experienced with. Um, rewards, 100 bucks on Bitcoin again. So I'm assuming we're at five now, right? I don't know. I can let us count uh, the floral eight. Okay, so here is some of the stuff. Uh, I have never, from what I, I don't even remember them coming out with this stuff back when I was playing. I mean, they did actually, but it was definitely not um, what I'm seeing now. Because when you get this game, you can, you can try looking at it like you're okay you're gonna get dlcs and things like that from like i don't know if you played a game with dlcs where it needed extra expansions um apparently the dlcs if you and please don't do this unless you are wanting to do this um the dlcs in this game aren't dlcs that i'm aware of i have not tried one yet nor have i tried one in the past um the DLCs, what they're considering it as, it are uh, basically packs, I guess, to get boosted. I mean, you can obviously try it, and obviously they come with, uh, let's see. Maybe even quick details. Okay, so here we go. Um, the DLCs basically would say these packs. Uh, you get a premium account of seven days, which obviously, if you remember the premium from the beginning, or uh, when we left the thing, the lake, uh, it said premium version versus basic. Uh, you get seven days of premium. Uh, you get bait coins. Okay, so they're called bait coins. Oh, they're called credits. Interesting. Okay, credits. So we'll call them credits now. I like calling them bucks, though. Makes you feel like you're really immersing into that uh, money feeling. Uh, so Bitcoins, you get 10, you get, cre um, what is that, 10,000? 10, 10,000 credits, uh, you get a new rod, um, I think you, I'll share something about this stuff, but you get a rod, um, you can obviously read it, right, what all this stuff is, it, it can hold up to 9 pounds, uh, so that's good, and it can hold a 1 4th to 6 7 ounce a, uh, line, oh no wait, lore, I'm sorry. And then the line is four to nine, four through nine. Uh, that's fine. And then we get another rod. You would get, not we get. So those are the rods. And then you get reels. Uh, you obviously have your ratios, which if you're not familiar with the ratio, it's the basically the, uh, it's basically the, uh, the settings that you have on your drag. Um, Unless it's the ball bearing. No, I think the ball bearings is the tick, tick, tick noise that you hear. The ratio is a six to a six to six or 6.6. 6. Wait. Okay, I'm gonna have to learn more about this. It's been a while and I don't look at this. I'm not like that fancy. I just look for a reel and drag when I'm out fishing. 
Uh, and obviously, I look for the, the weight capacity that I can hold for drag. Um, I don't want to lose a fish, and I don't want too much drag to go down. So, obviously, I want something good. Uh, so hopefully we can learn more about that. But I'm thinking the 4 and 1 ratio is the, the ball bearings is uh, the noise you hear when the drag gets pulled. And the ratio is, I guess, the, the amount of time it takes to, to do that tick. I don't know. But I do know one of them has like a drag setting where you get, like if you saw the beginning where, uh, um... What was it the drag setting it wanted me to do it had like six in a circle i believe that this is not that i think it's this but yeah it can hold three uh size three mono uh and it can hold up to 80 i think feet or yards i'm not sure a braid another reel hat but yeah, so you get the gist. It gives you like a load of stuff. And I will explain more about that. Um, and you get licenses. You get more expansions on your slots uh, for t uh, storage. And you get more tackle slots. I'm guessing that's for rods. You get a keeper, buoys. You're going to want these though. I'll tell you that much. So that's probably the only good thing I would take from this pack. Everything else I'll share about. Yeah, let's just, let's get out of that. That's too much. All right, so what do we do now? Um, it wants me to do something. What do we do? Uh, hello? So this is your map, and uh, I'm just gonna explain that. <laughs> this is your map. Um, you basically get to unlock these as you go. They're level based. Uh, so 23, 42, 12, 50. Um, your lone star where you start. Level five is rocky. So basically, you get the gist. It goes up in certain locations. So yeah, we were just now, in, we were just in Texas. I believe this is. Alabama maybe I'm maybe my global stuff is off oh Louisiana I'm sorry oh it, it tells you ah how is that Mississippi okay and then we get Florida so yeah you get your map um, will so since I can't figure out where to go or what to do now I guess we will end it here. I want to see how much they got real quick before we leave. So it looks like you got Africa. Okay. I don't remember what was old and what was new. I remember only seeing these areas. And then over here, I think there's like a couple. I don't remember this one. So basically, I can tell you right now, actually, before we close this. Uh, so I did the first lake, which is Lone Star. I did Mudwater. I did... No, it, no, it goes Lone Star. And then it goes... Less. Less Knee Villa. But I didn't do lesson yet. I went from Lone Star, and then I went to Mudwater, and then I went over to Lesney. Yeah, Lesney, which is over in Sizek. Shizek. I don't know how to pronounce those. I'm obviously not from there, but I'll, I'll bear with me. And I'll adjust to it. Um, Lesney, and then over to Rocky. So I really have not gone any further than that I stopped and then I got bored and then I went did something else and then it's just I want to actually complete this so I figured I'd bring you along with me to finish my journey that I never finished pretty much um, 
But yeah, so since I don't know what to do now, what I'm going to do is end it here. Uh, yeah, so if you like the video, uh, let me know by liking the video. Um, if you want to be my first subscriber, feel free to subscribe. You don't have to if you don't want to. I'm really just creating something to do uh, for you guys if you're interested in playing this game and get the feeling of there's actually something else out there uh, that feels like you are actually fishing. Um, there's apparently other games, but I chose this one because it had the better experience of me playing the game. I don't care about looking at my character. I care about how everything acts inside of the game, the detail, um, and everything else. I don't want to see what's under the water. Um, there might be stuff where I can actually see that. Um, like I said, I haven't gotten that far, so I don't know. Uh, I haven't even apparently there's boats in here. You can use a boat. I didn't even use a boat yet So I'm gonna be learning about that um, But yeah, this feels like the real world experience to me um, and When I went fishing this is pretty much all I would do is just try to look for other spots in my hometown um, And just go from there But I think you'll like this uh, if you're wanting to play it and join me as well. Maybe we can group up and I hear that there's competitions in here um, you can also party with friends uh, but yeah so uh, thanks again to tuning in uh, yeah first video woo <laughs> alright guys I'll catch you later